Hi everyone, welcome back to MCOF YouTube channel. I'm Emily. So today I'm going to show you how I do my Asian facial features. So I was going through my art supplies and I found this sketchbook. It's Maruman sketchbook. I have only used the first page of the sketchbook and I haven't used this sketchbook ever since. Let's watch how I do my Asian model drawing. So I prepared my lightest pencil and mechanical pencil and also eraser and start my under drawing. I realized that I've been doing a lot of like western facial features. I do like African facial features as well but I haven't really done Asian facial features much so I thought okay why don't I try to do that. I haven't used this sketchbook ever since and this dated back to 2011 so it's been a while and I think there's a discoloration of the cover of the sketchbook but the inside there is no discoloration for the paper it's in a perfect condition and even my drawing there is no discoloration of my drawing since 2011 so that's like nine years ago this is a three-quarter, almost three-quarter angle. It's not a straight front view drawing. So I'm trying to find the placement for the eyes. And one of the features that, that can make a distinction is the shape of the eyes. So I want to make sure I got a small eyes. And I capture slightly lifted at the corner of the eyes, at the outer corner of the eyes lifted. To capture the Asian eyes, I'm trying to make a small, quite thin, and lifting up at the outer edge of the eyes. Also doing small noses, um, small but not too pointy. Let's try to capture that roundness of the nose. I know not everyone have this generic facial features, but I'm just trying to exaggerate and really want to capture a certain facial features. I'm also drawing a small mouth. It's quite petite. Small mouth, small nose, um, small eyes. Uh, and there's not much of a distinct breach of the nose. So a flatter uh, bridge of the nose, a rounder nose, and a small mouth. So as you can see, um, I'm doing quite slow because I'm trying to draw and think. I haven't really planned uh, how I want my drawing to be. So here I'm thinking what kind of hair I want to do, like should it cover the shoulder or not. Let me just draw the shoulder first. and thinking if I should put some bangs or not but I decided to do without bangs so I'm just gonna have hair divided and I was thinking to do a super straight hair but uh, maybe not I'm doing a bit of a texture slight texture on the hair and wearing a headband quite feminine look as I was finishing this drawing I kind of feel like my figure look like Mulan from Disney <laughs> I don't know what do you guys think I did not refer to Mulan, but that figure might quite strong. It might have unconsciously might have represented how I capture the Asian feature. Okay, so that's my under sketch. So I'm going over with my mechanical pencil so I can get uh, more define lines um, I don't have to keep sharpening my pencil so I'm doing my eyes 
gonna add some eyeliners and as you can see because this is not a straight front view it's kind of three-quarter view so the left eye which from my angle it will be the right eye is smaller than the left eye and the reason is because her face is slightly facing I'm doing thin eyebrows So I'm just gonna go and fast forward my drawing as I'm just actually darkening my lines and while I'm outlining this using darker pencil, I'm also doing a correction. Uh, for example, I kind of move the placement for the lips slightly to the right and also the outline for the face. I correct it a bit as I feel it's too close to the mouth. So that's the benefit of having an under drawing. You kind of have things down but it's not a hard pressed so you can always just do adjustment to your final drawing without really uh, ruining your paper. So I always suggest to under drawing if you're still not comfortable and really that's what all the artists do unless they do like a quick sketches like certain exercise that they do but for their illustration it's part of the process you do under drawing so you can perfect thing I would say perfect thing your drawing you will get the result as you want and oftentimes the artist would redraw the same illustration number of times to get it right they would do a run through maybe in a smaller sketch and then do the bigger painting out of it or they would do several under drawings with a slight adjustment every time until you're happy with the result so don't think that you always have to get it right in the first time don't be afraid to correct your work and there is nothing wrong with go over your drawing over and over again and perfecting um, your drawing until you're happy with the result so that's a bit of uh, tips and also how I do my portrait drawing for Asian models I hope you like it and I hope you enjoy this video and if you're interested to see how I color this drawing please leave your comment below or like this video so I can do a coloring on the sketchbook I was thinking if I should do with markers or watercolors this sketchbook is not for watercolor but I think it will be also interesting to see how it's gonna take the watercolor paint Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.